Hi. In this part, we will consider what the cutoff point is and some risk issues. The cutoff point provides a threshold for a decision rule to categorize clients into low risk and high risk classes. Clients with a score higher than the cutoff point will be classified as good, while clients with a score lower than the cutoff point will be classified as bad. There are a few rules for choosing the cutoff point. The first one is an acceptable level of credit risk. It means that the cutoff point cannot be lower than a selected point. The second one is a required level of accepted applications. We can see the correlation between the cutoff point and the acceptance rate on the approval versus bad rate chart. We need to classify the clients to develop different credit policies for different risk categories of clients. Each group will have about the same probability of default. Here on the Risk Bands Report tab, we can see the level of risk for each range. Here we can also manage the ranges and their number. This option can be used, for example, in case we need to define a required capital reserve, an appropriate percent for each band. Now we can have a look at the Scoring Report tab. We can sort the rows by the score. We see that for the low scores, a bad prediction is automatically generated, while for the scores higher than the cutoff point, 597, a good prediction is displayed. The higher the score, the lower the risk. If needed, we can export this report, as well as any other report generated by the software, by clicking Export Table. Alternatively, the scorecard with the points for each category can be saved to a file or C Sharp source code if you need to integrate the scorecard into your system. If you have any questions, please contact us at contacts at pluginscore.com or on pluginscore.com or by the phone on your screen. Thank you for your attention.